was like the song of my people and the dance of my people for those of us that are Stucky supporters and shippers. All right. So these are our end game predictions. These are the days of our lives, people. And we're not going to make fetch happen, Lauren. We're making Stucky happen. It's worse than fetch. Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Lauren. And we are the, the Neuro, Neuro Nerds. Nerds. Yes, that was on time. I feel, I feel pretty good. On, I feel pretty good about that. Neuro nerds. So if we are in the final days of. It's the final no days of. Endgame, Avengers. The last, this phase that we're in is coming to an end. And the Russo brothers are promising to give us a resolution. Wait, I hope so. I hope so. <gasps> oh my God, what if they leave it like open ended? I'm gonna cry. Oh. Joe will have no arm. No, she's gonna hurt me, guys. <laughs> guys, like I'm holding on to the walls. Like, <laughs> like I'm like, the Lord is coming. Like, uh, it, it, <sighs> so we have a, a, a lot of thoughts because obviously <laughs> we're Marvel people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like even Marvel's, like again, Marvel movies are like pizza. Yeah, even on a bad movie comes out, it's still pretty good. It's still pizza. Yeah, it's still pizza. Except we never have pizza. We never have pizza. Oh, I don't want Lauren to be angry, Lauren, so let's not talk about pizza. (laughs) So, end game predictions. Everyone's dead. If you've been living under... And they're going to go into Marvel zombies. Oh, my God. I was going to say, if you've been living under a rock, um, and I say that without judgment because people do, um, (laughs) (laughs) hermit crap. Um, But, yes, Avengers end game is coming out. Um, I believe the date is the 26th of April, and yeah. this is when literally, like, everything is the culmination this of is, this phase. It is the um, the bookend this is to... The, this is the climax. ...to Infinity Wars. <sighs> so, Avengers movie, even if you don't like the Avengers and you don't like Marvel, you know that you've sold your soul to Marvel and Disney. You're gonna go watch it. Yeah, so, like, if you don't like Marvel and you don't like the Avengers... Fight just me. don't like fun. And that's cool, I guess, if you're into that. If you're like, Hey, you know what I really like? Being miserable, not smiling, and not enjoying things. That's cool. You know, mm-hmm. I, I I hope you go on with your bad, miserable, non happy loving self. Yeah. Right? Like, we have love for all. Go pound sand. <laughs> so this is like this is the close. This is like this is it. This is the end of an era, guys. This is the end game here. Which this is gonna I don't set know, up, guys. I have a lot of feels about this, and like I'm, I'm very excited. I'm terrified that terrified this, for sure. I, like I'm like really excited to see how it goes. I'm hoping against all hopes that I'm gonna get happy endings, but I'm also realistic because it's Disney and you're, they're so no homo. Hey, I'm like your happy <gasps> endings mean something completely shut up, different. Shut up. We've already had episodes <laughs> about that. Okay, but like I have all the feels. I don't know about you guys. Like I, I was not a hardcore Avengers comic book person. Right. Right. Um, really the MCU really kicked off everything and then went back to the comments and com- comics and then um, all the fan fiction. God bless fan fiction. Yeah. But like, I i don't know, like I'm getting anxious right now. Yeah, yeah, here. no, it, it's, but you know what it is? Because this is, this is it. This is the culmination. This is no! after, after seeing like the Avengers, the original Avengers movie, ah! that was the culmination of the first few movies, you know, Captain America, ah! Iron Man. Thor, like that was like, oh wow! It was. Guys, this- I'm already planning the fix it <laughs> fanfics that I'm gonna go read to fix whatever the Russos screw up. But it, it like the the original Avengers movie was this giant, amazing spectacle. Yes. That brought together everything that we had seen prior. This yes. now is a culmination of everything from the Iron Man very beginning. Everything from Iron Man is the end of Robert Downey Jr.'s like reign on the big screen, the reignite, the reignition of his career. Like. Yeah. This is, this is, I really think Tony Stark just is Robert Downey Jr. I mean, like. Yeah, they're kind of the same person. They're kind of the same person. I think, like, maybe he's just, like, living as Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, like, right now he's just flying around in in an iron suit. Yeah. I feel feel like that's a thing. I also think that that, um, uh, Thor can make lightning with a hammer. Oh, God. Mm. But, like, like like, that's what it is. It's the end of Robert Downey Jr. I also think Jeremy Renner's useless. No, I'm just kidding. I actually really like Jeremy Rayner. I think he's oh awesome. Oh my god, no! Oh, ca ca motherfucker, ca ca like. <laughs> ugh. Um, but yeah, the, I mean, this is the end of the Avengers, like we yeah. have quote unquote grown up with. No, seriously, right? Yeah, like this is the end. They've been such like a like I have like an emotional attachment to like these movies and like I know, these characters. And it's so not good. 
you know, and, and this is like closing out the original three phases over a decade's worth of movies. I will never watch Marvel movies again. She will. She absolutely will. (laughs) And and it's starting anew. Now, I don't know. Are they going to start anew without Captain America, without Iron Man, without Thor? Are they going to have them sprinkled in as like elder statesmen? Guys, like, I'm what like are they gonna do? gonna cry right now. Like, <laughs> I have a lot of emotions. But this. come on, stop being so Catholic. Don't go so dark. I have There's no gotta up- be hope. No, there has to be. Because it won't be. Come on, it hey, won't be. this is coming from a recovering Catholic. There's, there's good out there. It's Lent right now. It's like, <laughs> but I mean, guys, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I want, I want to hope for the best. I want to hope for happy endings. But because you, you like- can still have. Captain America, you could still have Iron Man. To be honest, one, probably both, are gonna die. But I don't I, mean to be a dick. I, I'm a massive just realist guys, and a real. I'm a realist. And George R. R. Martin, Game of Thrones. Dude, he like, killed Ned Stark. He'll kill anyone. Yeah, I think that's it's gonna happen. We're like, finally gonna have people. Man, it's no longer just Uncle Ben and Pietro. It's, oh, oh, longer oh, Aaron Gwen. Like it's gonna be. It's it's like, gonna be more people. Like. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be a lot of people because I think they're and, and apparently from what I'm reading now, like it's going to be a, a lot of people like immediately, like early on. No. They're just going to be like, oh, yeah, this dude's alive. No, nope, this dude's dead. Oh, this person. No, nope, this person's dead, too, which okay. is, you know, it's. Let's look at this from a financial point of view for Disney because Disney likes money. They right. Do. They like they their money. They're, they're like, oh, yeah, by the way, <laughs> we're just going to make all of the money. Yeah. The mouse likes his money. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> they're like X Men, Fantastic Four. Come on over. Yeah. So leaving the storyline behind, because you could look at the story of all these characters and justify, okay, Tony gets married to Pepper and they right. live happily ever, happy after, ever after, with uh, Peter Parker being like their adopted kid. Like that would be so cute for the MCU. That would that would be such a sitcom. I know. Like that could be a show. Anyways. Oh, Mr. Stark. Yeah, it would be adorable. Oh, Miss Pot. Um, but from financial point of view, okay, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth, they've done their time. Yeah. They've made their money. But I don't know how much more longevity they can have as their characters as they're, as they're getting older for the younger generation, yeah. right? So that makes sense. Their contracts are up. Okay. So it's feasible that in the story that the Russos or Disney is going to either write them dead or is going to write them out. Right, right. Like they, right? They, they, or they're going to pass the mantle. Yeah, just like they've done their time. Now they're going to live happily ever after doing whatever it is they choose to do. Or, or they could just be like, they've dead. done their time. Now they're dead. Yeah. So that, I think, I do think they're going to be gone. Mm-hmm. I think either the new Spider-Man, or not, not the new Spider-Man, the new Iron Man, mm-hmm. it almost looks like they're trying to make Peter Parker, like the Iron Spider, like as like the replacement kind Whoa. of-ish. So, so I'll say... For, for me, Captain America is going to be replaced. And I'm and my idea I, is that it's either going to go to Falcon or Bucky's going to take it up because canonically it's got to be Bucky. It's one of them. It's got to be Bucky for me, but mm-hmm. I don't see Bucky leading the team. He'll be he'll take the mantle no, of Captain America. Definitely. Who's going to yeah. lead the team from here on out and be that Captain America type leader is going to be Captain Marvel. Okay. She's a soldier. Right. She's a leader. Why can't it be Falcon? Because it's Falcon. <laughs> no, I because like my my thoughts with that is let's say they do survive. Because Falcon right? got his ass kicked by a teenager. That's okay, why. That's a good point. But I was gonna say, uh, on that same thread, like if Bucky, they look like they're trying to make Bucky be the white wolf, right? Which right. is uh what T'Challa's like adopted white brother in the comic, right? Who's right. actually a bad guy. But it looks like they're trying to reframe White Wolf as Bucky as like this honorific. Yeah, like, like they're mixing kind of characters, yeah. which they've done before. They've done, and I'm actually okay with that. They did it with Whiplash. They did it like, they'll yeah. just take, like, some aspects of certain characters yes. and be like, okay, now this is, like, who this is. Which is now, like, the MCU canon version, which is fine. Um, I'm not mad at Bucky being this White Wolf character as long as, like, he has his hut in Wakanda with Steven, the goat. Oh, uh, but, just, like, just Falcon. Just the goats, man. The goats get me. So yeah. specific. <laughs> but Falcon, I can see him. I know, right? Ah. Um. <laughs> Falcon could take the mantle of Captain America because he was a U.S. soldier. Right. Right. Um, and which would be really nice, it's very timely, is he is also a black man. Right. You know, he's a black veteran. And here he becomes Captain America, especially in our current political climate right. here. Um, how amazing would that be is now Captain America, the epitome of patriotism and everything that quote unquote is good out of America with American excellence, is now represented by a black man. Right. Right. Well, which would be cool. I just don't think Anthony Mackie is. A leader of men. Uh, no, I think he is. Leave Anthony Mackie alone. 
he's but a, a, le- a leader of the cinematic universe. You know what I mean? Agreed. I don't think he's and, a big enough name to carry the franchise. Right. And I love Anthony. Everything he's done, I've enjoyed. He's a great uh, supporting character. Yeah, he's, he's a great secondary character. But why does Maybe it's no longer Captain America TV. It's him. Or it's going to be America Chavez. Um, in the character in the comic books, mm-hmm. there's a character named America Chavez who is a type of captain. Uh, is she related to America Ferreira, Ugly Betty? Actually, I think uh, some people have fan casted her as that. That's hilarious. But, That's really funny. Um, they also did. Um, wasn't there like they recently put out a new Captain America or something like that? She has a hijab on. She's Muslim, or there's a Muslim. Um, character. oh, uh, um, uh, um, um, Captain Marvel. Ms. Yeah. Marvel. Ms. Yeah, Marvel. Yeah, Ms. Marvel. Yeah, Kamala Khan. Yes, yes, yes. And she's like super stretchy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like her. She's super I, dope. So like I can see them shifting away from like the old guard mm-hmm. into a newer generation of more. Well, we, we like, have, we have, um, uh, uh, I think it's Riri is her name. Not, mm-hmm. not, not, Ri- Rihanna. not Rihanna, our awesome gamer, oh, yeah. super dope, amazing friend to the show. Yeah, and Love I was like, and not Rihanna Fenty status. Oh yeah, not that chick. I don't like her. She has we- a lot of she has a lot of forehead. Um, but R- Rihanna Riri is, is she, she she has um she's like the new Iron Man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. She's a an African American female Iron Man. Yes. Which is kind of dope. So I, I kind of can see them shifting that way, um, as like the old guard retires mm-hmm. and is like I can see them having cameos in movies as. So 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 do I. I can absolutely see Robert Downey Jr. every once in a while, like popping in, and being like, hey, "What's up, yo? Hey, I'm a billionaire. Oh, yeah. check this out." And then I can see like Captain America being like, "You guys do good work," and then like disappearing. Yeah, he's just doing a conference call from Wakanda from his hut with Bucky and the goat. Yeah, and you can't forget the goats. No. Do the goats have names? Uh, in certain fanfics, they do. <laughs> oh, my, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, yours. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> so and like Thor, he could mm-hmm. be. He's basically going to he, be like Odin. Yeah, because he has to rule Asgard. He has to rule Asgard. He's got to make sure everything's good. And I kind of low, low key want Loki. Oh, <laughs> shit. I see what if, you did there. If he's going to survive, because I have mixed feelings about Loki surviving. But if he survives, I can see him ruling jointly with Thor or as an advisor. I would really like that first. If character. he's an advisor, he's going to end up killing Thor at some point. No. It's going to be like the Blood Brother no, storyline. I really think that Loki loves his brother. He does. You and know what he loves more than his brother? Himself. Well, I was going to say in a non shipper way, because I also ship them. Uh, because incest is the best. Oh, test. so you're Game of Thrones, Thronesing them? Yes, I am because Game of Thrones is also yeah. Popular. But that's a whole another set of feels. We might. It is. It is. It's a. It's a weird set of feels. Yeah, like, I feel weird. weird about it right now. Yeah, I. I I'm not as excited. About so, it. I, I am in a different way. Yeah. But like, it's the difference between I'm excited to watch a TV show and I'm excited to go to the movies and experience this movie. Yeah, like it's I different have. Kind of I feeling. have all the feels for Marvel, like like Endgame, like I want to cry, and then Game of Thrones. I'm like, okay, I just need to see how this fucking. Like, anyways, so they killed Ned Stark, man. Come on, I'm still <laughs> that's angry. Been your complaint from day one. I'm still angry. Literally. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm seeing that go, and I think I, I don't think some people are gonna come back. They can't come back. They're gonna have to now something super radical because we were talking about Black Panther. Mm-hmm. So it would be basically like financial suicide if they are like, okay, we're not bringing back Black Panther. Yeah, I mean, right? he just made a billion dollars. But again, they had started a Infinity Wars before that uh before Black Panther came out and made all that money. That's true. So they probably had to do some rewrites on yeah. it. They, well they they could and I, I've said it before, they could literally leave T'Challa dead, which yes. would suck. Yeah. And they could have Shuri as the new Black Panther. So, and I'm sure they'll do that at some point down yeah. the line. I yeah. just think this is way too soon. I agree. Um, I think it would cause, especially for some very annoying fanboys, like they would lose their shit. Look, I apologize. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> um, but like, I could see them doing that if they wanted to pick one, like, like someone to leave dead that we don't get back. Are you a stroke or brain injury survivor looking for community and support? Well, the neuro nerds are here to help. Join our hashtag you so rock Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash you so rock to connect with other survivors like you. Plus, read other inspirational brain injury survivor stories on Joe's blog at josorocks.com slash you so rock and submit your stories there as well. We want to hear them. And remember, you, you so, so rock. rock. <laughs> oh, man. So if they if Thanos or whoever mm-hmm. the bigger threat, because they keep talking about a bigger threat mm-hmm. in in Endgame. Well, if decides to kill Thor, and Thor dies, who could take over the mantle? Loki! Lady Thor. Ah, uh, but that's it could Angela. Be Jane Fo- it could be, no, 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 it could be Jane Foster. 
Jane Foster takes over the mantle. So, but this no. is like, a, it's a really complicated storyline where she yeah. has like cancer and she's dying. No. And that, like in her human form. And I don't know. And then if she Natalie, gets Mjolnir and then she if, becomes. But like, Natalie poor. Portman, I don't think she wants to do it anymore. No, 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 no. She's like, oh, I'm making real movies. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, stop being so arrogant. I'm like, the only thing they could do, like, I think Hella might make a. I love Hella. I hope Hella makes a, a, a some sort of debut. I'm a hella big hella fan right right no i i want hella to show up because she's the goddess of death yeah like, i don't think she's dead no um especially because in the original storyline thanos was killing and destroying all this in order to appease death oh my Who is the so goddess of death? Hella. you, you do want to know what's really funny they actually touched on it in the original avengers movie the first time mm-hmm. we ever see thanos yes there's a basically an abandoned storyline because i guess they were going to go a certain way but then whatever happens happened where the uh this is Name the unknown that dude that like Ronan no. like breaks his head and like yeah, he, yeah yeah no 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 yeah I know who you're talking about so, so that dude he was like uh, um like basically attacking the Avengers is courting death mm-hmm. and he turns around and he smiles because death is actually a character yes in uh well not the MCU just in Marvel yes death is like an entity yes you know and he wants to do everything he can so the Infinity Gauntlet storyline he destroyed half the universe just because he wanted to show off for death. Yeah, he was like saying, "Here's my sacrifice." Yeah, he's like, "Oh, will you date me now?" Yeah, I was like, "Look, but I'm like, all the cool things I got, right?" But how amazing would that be if they can kind of bring that back and use Hella as this personification? She would of be death. great. She would be great. Kate I, Blanchett I, does no wrong. I love Kate Blanchett. She is so. How is she getting Versatile. better looking with yeah. age? Yeah, because you know, not not to be you know sexist, racist, or anything. Caucasian people don't age well. <laughs> you know what I mean? She is like doing the Benjamin Button thing. I know. Like she's getting younger and sexier. It's really crazy. Mm-hmm. I saw her in, oh man. Lord Ro- of the Rings. No, Romeo, no. Shakespeare. Shakespeare in Love. Yes. She was in Shakespeare in Love, yes? Yes. Yes. And I was no, like. No, that was Gwyneth Paltrow. That was Gwyneth Paltrow. You're thinking Elizabeth. Elizabeth. I saw, actually saw it in a movie. I was on a date. It was a terrible date. But the movie was really, really good. And I was like, oh, she's cute-ish. And now I'm looking at her. I'm like, man, this chick is beautiful. It's because she's now a nerd queen. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's that true. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so what are some of your um, theories for it that are not just looking at it from a removed, like, financial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I'm just looking at it as, like, a, a fan of the movies, not knowing secret things that, like, I, I scour the internet for and read Reddit. Yep, and, and Tumblr and all that. All of that stuff. Well, no, don't do Tumblr because you told me it's full of porn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. They have the band. <laughs> I think they're going to start plant, uh, planting seeds mm-hmm. about X-Men possibly in the universe. Not okay. anything overt. Mm-hmm. I think they've already started with some of like retconning some things. Yeah. I how agree. they how they said that the twins it yes. unlocked something in them. Yes. That just seems like the twins. It was like the X gene that they unlocked. Right. And I even think, so Captain Marvel, the way she got her powers, it was mm-hmm. like an explosion, a thing like, absorb, like why, right. didn't she, why didn't she die? Maybe she was like a pre-X-Men type uh-huh. of, you know what I mean? Like maybe she was a, she was a special. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, I think they're going to start planting seeds. They obviously, so they mentioned a bigger threat yeah. than Thanos on toys. Toys always ruin everything. Yeah. Because those always come out before. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I have to alert. think the only, there's three characters that makes sense that are a bigger threat than mm-hmm. Thanos for me. Stanley. So, oh, <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God. I almost cried Aww. during the, the Captain and, Marvel, the mm-hmm. Stan Lee thing. The cameo. The cam- oh, man, it's beautiful. And I can't wait to see what the cameo is going to be in Endgame. I know. I think that might be his last cameo. Oh my God. I'm no. emotional. Stop. 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 Enough. Next, enough. Go on. What are the three characters? So the three characters that are just as big a threat, if not a bigger threat than Thanos. My number one all time is Galactus. Right. Mm-hmm. And I already I gave my theory on Galactus. Yes. I think he's the the personification, the, 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 the embodiment stone. of the power stone. I think that's a thing. It makes so much sense. The Celestials movie is going to like tie in, I'm sure, yeah. somehow. So but I think it might be too soon to bring him in. I agree. He's got to flesh that out a little yeah, bit Yeah, because they can't just because how many movies did they waste on Thanos is like sitting in a chair. So right? many. He's just so like chilling. maybe he's the big bad for the next phase. Oh, oh the Fantastic Phase 4. Mm-hmm. Um, Next would be, I think it would make more sense. But you get a well. See, yeah, see, I'm, I'm, I, so the, the next two are King the Conqueror. Okay. Lots of lots of time travel, and yes. I know they're going to do some kind of time travel thing in Avengers Endgame. Okay. Yes, and, and King We've the Conqueror that, yeah. is, you know, he travels through time. Yeah. Which I think he would be an incredible villain. And then you can go throughout time. Okay. Another one 
is so they're going cosmic and fantastic. Correct. A nihilist, a nihilist in the quantum realm, and so apparently, so nerds out yeah. there, not us, nah. who are neuro nerds, we're not nerd nerds. Well, we're nerd nerds too. So I was like, hello. They 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 like stopped, you know, the quantum scenes yep. in the trailer. Yep. And apparently, like in the background, there's kind of in like one of the little bubble things in the quantum realm, which is like this really abstract looking thing. It's like an Andy Warhol painting. Yeah. Like it's like an Andy Warhol like fever dream. Um, they there seems to be like a little tiny city in one of the little bubble things. Oh, okay. Now, if that little city is like a civilization, that could just be where a nihilist hangs out. And what does a nihilist want to do? Annihilate mm-hmm. everything. Huh? Could Dormammu be the big bad? That's another. I just okay. Yeah, I take it back. Not three, four. Because once the time stone exactly is destroyed after the snap or whatever happens, yeah. I think all that is fair game. And Dormammu yeah. is one of the biggest bads ever. I don't think he got his just due in Doctor Strange. No, I completely think he was neutered. He was. In that movie. He he really he, was. He didn't you get know? a fair shake. So you know how like all right the original Star Wars trilogy. How am I jumping to Star Wars? But like Darth Vader, it's like oh man. He seems so dope, but he just kind of like hangs out, doesn't really do a whole lot, yeah. right? And then you saw Rogue One, you're and like, like oh. oh shit, that's why Darth Vader is like the most yeah. feared man in the galaxy. I think Dormammu is kind of like that. Like he could be, he, he's one of the biggest bads ever. Yeah, but he was just like, no, please, I don't want to live this day over again. I'm tired yeah. of killing you. Yeah, he's let's, having a Groundhog Day. Let's let's negotiate. Yeah, right. It's, it's, that's not how that's he's not supposed a big to go bad. down. You know, I I, w- I want some shit to happen. Yeah, I was thinking about that too, and I was like, they. It would have to be someone they've already semi introduced mm-hmm. into the series. And I think, like you said, he didn't get his fair shake. No. And that would be kind of cool because this is associated with time and the time stone. Um, so I really do think because that was the last stone, right? It, it was. was the one that Doctor Strange gave up and he refused and gave up. So and he went like this, but, he went but, and it was right there. How awesome would that be is if in, like Dormammu's the big bad, mm-hmm. right? And then, at like, that's part of the, how you save the day is you unleash the big bad. Oh. Oh. Right? Oh, the right? big bad to be bigger than the big the bad. bad. Yeah. Oh, my enemy of my enemy is, is my, my friend. friend. Yeah. Is, <laughs> my enemy is still my enemy, but he's, like, less of an enemy yeah. than my enemy. So that Ooh. would be kind of interesting. I like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like it. I actually thought it would go this whole time for years now. I thought it was going to be, like, cartoony where mm. all the villains, because Marvel has a horrible habit of murdering the villains yes. so they don't come back it's like Ella. it's like th- there's a jail you yeah. know what i mean there's the raft just yeah. all the bad guys in the raft so i i thought if they brought back all the bad guys and then the avengers kind of like a video game have to run through all the bad guys to get to the ultimate bad Capcom guy versus marvel yes <laughs> so you would go through like all right we got to go through like ronan the accuser and then they go through him and like it's like a gauntlet yes we have to go through the abomination Oh man! Now we gotta fight Malekith the Dark yeah, Elf. Yeah, what if they each got like their 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 mirror? What if they did like evil doppelgangers? They might do that too. Oh, cool. They might do that. So like fan in, fiction is writing itself. <laughs> in, in Avengers: Earth Mightiest Heroes, the uh, the cartoon, mm-hmm. one of my favorite cartoons ever. I'm a grown ass man. I watch cartoons. Yes, so what? I was You're watching better, SpongeBob. This morning. You're not better than me. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> So the um the, there's like the Infinity Stone thing and the Infinity Stones get like shattered and they get sent throughout like dimensions, yeah. different parts of the universe. And then each Avenger has to go and fetch like an Infinity Stone. Mm-hmm. It's like Black Panther had to go get like the Soul Stone. Oh, I thought you had to sneeze. No, I'm yawning. Sorry. <laughs> I am so that sorry I- that I bore you to the point of yawning, Lauren. I'm sorry I work seven days a week. I, I joked last week. Somehow you work eight. Yeah. It's really weird. Hardest working woman in the world. So I, I thought it would be like, okay, well, it, like each Avenger, like the Avengers are going to team up and each one is going to go find stones. What if <gasps> each one has to travel to a different Time. multiverse? Yeah. With and, like, cause like the Spider-Man movies, the multiverse. Yes. What? So that opens up the multiverse idea that could be canon. What if they each have to, what if each stone is now hidden? That's why they have those things. Those thingies on their wrists. So you're going to have like teams going through space and time and dimension, picking off stones. Yeah. Like maybe whatever stone is the most valid or the one that's the real stone. Like maybe because matter cannot be created or destroyed. So those stones cannot be created or destroyed. So what if that power just went to a different stone in a different reality? So who ever called Lauren a nerd? 
Who wants to hire me to write these? <laughs> hire me, Marvel. Hey, you, you got to Reddit that shit in know, the meantime. Right? No, that's a, that's a good theory. Yeah. Because there is going to be quantum travel. Yes. Right? So you can literally go anywhere. And so there, there's, again, we, we, we see things through pictures yes. and all kinds of stuff. We see a much older Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, and a younger one. And we see Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers with the, no beard? Yeah, and in the span in like the original Spandex like Avengers uniform. Oh man. Ooh, I, I, they yeah. should call that Spankdex. Nope. They shouldn't. Because <laughs> he puts that on. I was like, oh, I can see Captain America's twigs and berries. So but, I and, mean and he has like that, like a, a really blonde hair again. Re- yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like the original movie. Yeah. You know? So there's there's some shit going on, y'all. There is. There is. Somehow Red Skull, I think, is gonna be wrapped in there. Yeah, because that was really weird that he was just he was just the guardian. Yeah, he's just like chilling. That was like low key, like, hello. Here hey, we go. Hey, he's like a security guard. He's like, wait, 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 like a doorman. He's like, yeah. hey, 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 do you have ID? Yeah. All right, cool. You can get yeah. Soul Stone. Yeah. You just yeah. got to murder somebody you love. Yeah. It's fine. And I know they couldn't get um, Hugo Weaving. Oh, Hugo Weaving. He, he was probably like, I'm done. Um, but yeah, so they, they've they got it. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if we've answered any questions. No, if anything, <laughs> there are more. so many more questions. If you enjoy listening to this podcast, please consider leaving us a five-star review on the Apple Podcast app. Your reviews help us grow and reach more listeners like you. Find us by searching for the Neuro Nerds on the Apple Podcast app today. You know, just this is just exactly what the Avengers so is going to be. What's the takeaway of our episode today, guys? Our prediction: Everyone's going to die. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's 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 helpful. It's useless. Everyone is going to. But then at the end of both Game of Thrones and the Avengers, George R. R. Martin and Stan Lee, rest his soul, they open their eyes. And it's like, oh, it was all a dream. A dream. Right? On a non-existential crisis. Just M. Night Shyamalan, um, no. the shit out of that. On a non-existential crisis point, the we do have some things to look forward to after this end of eras. Going we do. On, right? We do. You do have the next phase of Marvel, right? <sighs> Fantastic phase four. We do, regardless of who survives or doesn't survive and in what form. Game of Thrones, it is the end of the Game of Thrones series. However... There is pilots being shot in possible series. Oh. Yeah, there was a five five pilot uh, deal, I believe, or series for mini series or series of other stories from A Song of Ice and Fire world and the lore. So there are some possibilities that we'll get a series about Robert's Rebellion. Um, we might do Aegon's Conquest with Visenya and Rhaenys. How do you know this stuff, because nerd? Because I'm a nerd. We might see something about the the pact between the First Men and the Children of the Forest. That would be I would be interested right? in that. Right? That might be a series. Maybe the invasion of the Andals. Um, let's see what else we might see. Um, there's been talk about possibly doing something with a Shy and a Yin. I don't those, even know what that means. Yeah, these are like deep dark like <laughs> other things. Um, but yeah, so there is or something about Valyria before the doom or like as the doom is happening um with all the dragon lords there or maybe I, with like Danny's see, the dreamer i'd like to see a lot of like Tyrion in the bathhouses like that would i would like to see a series dedicated to that it would be and like we have devolved guys and uh on that note <laughs> yeah wow okay so thank you guys for listening to us what are we your really, guys really appreciate theory it. what are you guys looking forward to how many of you guys ship stucky um, and we're going to make that happen. Yeah, yeah. How many of you guys ship Stucky and how many of you guys are know that Fetch is not going to happen? Bucky, Steve, Wakanda, goats. You know what we're going to do? We're, we're going to do what's it called? We're going to do like, you know, one of those poll things on Instagram. Yeah. And, and one's going to be like Stucky and the other one's going to be Fetch not happening. Wow. I'm going to go with Fetch not you happening. You guys vote for Stucky, please. Yes. I, I vote for Stucky as well. Yes. Lauren is not threatening me. Not at all. At all. Not so. at all. Thanks to our sponsor, Avid Technology, for providing us with the tools, or should I say pro tools, to record, edit, and mix our podcast and get our message out clearly to the world. Try Avid first to start recording today for free at avid.com slash pro dash tools. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Thank you to our amazing community on Patreon for supporting this podcast. You can support us too and get different perks and gifts depending on which Neuro Jedi tier you sign up for. For example, if you're on our Neuro Padawan $5 tier, 
then you're probably listening to this episode a day early before it's public release. Your support helps us grow and continue to create this podcast. Plus, a portion of the proceeds go to a different cause or individual in the brain injury survivor community each month. Sign up at patreon.com slash the neuro nerds. I like to think we're kind of killing it, right? Kind of like the MCU is killing all their characters. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Game of Thrones is killing everyone. But they're not really dying. They're just turning into ice people, right? And on that sad, sad note. <laughs> Reach out to us at the Neural Nerds everywhere. Reach out to me, Joso Rocks, everywhere. Reach out to Lauren at Lauren El Manzano. Yes. As always, the Neural Nerds are here to help. And on that sad, sad note, <laughs> these Neural Nerds are... <laughs> it's so sad. Everybody's, everybody's going to die. This April, our Patreon donation spotlight is brain aneurysm survivor Amelia Clark's new nonprofit, SameU.org. Their mission is to create immediate post-acute rehabilitation for young adults who have suffered a brain injury or stroke. A portion of our Patreon proceeds will go towards this amazing nonprofit. Sign up to support us at patreon.com slash the neuro nerds. Hashtag the neuro nerds give back.